Wilson battling inside. Foul on Des Moines Hodge. And rebounded the ball well. Overall, they have played very well. Half with the basket. Preston with five. Preston with four. With three. The look to McDay for the end of the half three. Oh, my goodness. And that shows you how the first half has gone for Ohio. To give you some reference for that number, Cleveland State has 13 as a team. Vanderplas, good head and shoulders fake. It will square for the three. And four rebounds. Talking about his turnover number as he drives to the basket and gets the floater to fall. Jason That's Preston was a plus 189 in that category. <laughs> Assist to turnover. That's scary. I mean, and it again comes with his vision and his understanding of the game and just his ability to read the defense. Miles Brown from Vanderplas splashes the three and Dennis Gates will have to burn another timeout. Really two wins and, and obviously the game with Illinois they really did some good things although they didn't walk away with a win and you know Vanderplas's three is off the mark and Wilson tracks down the loose ball and gets another possession for the Bobcats. McDay with the head and shoulder. The off-balance fader in the lane goes. In the afternoon, Jackie Winden dissecting it. I'm Marty Bannister. We're glad to have you with us here today as the Bobcats run. And they have done a lot of that today. Oh, how about that? The Vikings had through the first uh, 30 or 25 minutes of the basketball game. Ah. Rebound by Johnson for Cleveland State. They'll get a reset out high the three off the mark by Hill and Ohio with the basketball. Vikings still haven't scored yet here in the second half, which is almost eight minutes old. Towns for the Bobcat three. McDay finds Sears, who gives the ball back to McDay, and he splashes home. Another Bobcat three. The schedule, the way they're going to play it, is going to be a, a good indicator for this team to see how are they able to respond and make adjustments from one game to the next nice against crossover. the same opponent. Absolutely, Jackie. Nice crossover there by Miles Brown. Has not scored in the second half. It's 86-25. Ohio with the advantage. Penetrating down the lane as Sears ball stripped away. Vikings with a run out, one of the few they've had here in the second half. And a whistle and a foul as Chris Green. Green did not score in the Toledo game on Tuesday. Missed all five of his shots. And there's the first point of the second half for Cleveland State at the 8.03 mark on the free throw. 